hey you guys welcome back to my channel it is me missy beauty what's good what's really good how are you guys doing how have you been all right welcome if it's your first time here welcome back if you guys are returning all right so let's just kind of see let's see what the overall energy is for the collective what's going on with you guys right now Let's see. Okay, give me the energy for the Divine Collective or the person that is connected to them. I want to um, welcome in my guardian angels, my ascended high vibrational ancestors closest to the sun. I said they cover me and protect me as I channel the messages for the Divine Collective, all right? All right. I heard baby come back. You can blame it all on me. Baby, come back. Somebody wants you to come back. Tell me more. Tell me who is this person? Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. This person still don't want to take accountability though. Because if you left, it's probably their fault in the first place. So for them to say, you can blame it all on me. You can blame it all on me, collective. This is somebody just like, they low-key. Like, they want you to come back and stuff. They want they want the relationship. They want the friendship, whatever. But they don't want to take no... They don't want to take no accountability for real. All right? All right. Tell me about this person here. I pray we could work this out and come as a physical union. So, yeah, this is definitely somebody that you in separation with. Yeah. This person want to work something out. You know, this person may also be trying to, they may be trying to avoid karma because this person is getting some karma. They are receive bad karma. This person may be trying to avoid this. Tell me more. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is somebody who's doing love spells. I'm practicing spell work to bring you back and keep others away from you. So some of y'all, this person did something energetically or they projected something to you guys, like, or they put something over you energetically collective that makes you kind of like invisible to other people for real. This is somebody who don't want, uh, they don't want you to get no attention. They don't want nobody to see you. They kind of want to keep you single, wishing on the star. So this person is manifesting you. This is somebody that's not only manifesting you guys collective, but they don't want nobody else dealing with you for real. They don't even want nobody to see you. For some of y'all, this person do practice spell work, all right? This person is into the arts. I heard the black arts. Yeah, just this last time. So this is somebody who feel like all they need is one more chance. This is somebody who said that they'll take all the blame, even though I do feel like if you're guilty of anything, it's for sticking around too long. Maybe you stuck around too long, collective. Maybe you should have walked away sooner. If you're guilty of anything, it's holding on too long to this energy. Why are they trying to blame you? Tell me more. This is somebody who hid their emotions for you. Wow, they're hiding more than their emotions from you. This person may also be um down low. Down low, gotta keep it on. This person may be on a DL. If you know what I mean, collective, this person may have same-sex interests. They could be hiding this energy from you. Maybe you always suspected this of this person. This person has deeper feelings for you than what they lead on, though, collective. They also want you to hold their spots. Yeah, this person had the nerve to choose somebody else. Physically chose them, emotionally choosing you. So they physically chose another person. But their heart and their feelings and their emotions is still with you guys. Make that make sense. Bad at love, good at effing. So this is somebody who, you know, they good to sleep around with. All right. This person, they don't catch feelings too often for people, you know. This is somebody who could like sleep with people and not catch any feelings, not catch any not catch no feelings for them. Okay? But I don't know. This person could have possibly quite um could have possibly caught feelings for you guys. Yeah. For this person to be 
to my some say they spot for real. They must have caused some feelings for you. Maybe this was just supposed to be sex only between you and them. For some of y'all, this person could be someone of the same sex that you are dealing with for real. All right, tell me more. Yeah. This is somebody who feel like they needed more time. So they took all the time that they felt like they had. Wasted your time. You feel like they wasted your time. But this is somebody who feel like they needed more time before they could make a decision. Whatever that decision was. So I feel like you guys did the best you could to like adapt to this person. Like maybe you was like being patient with them. You was giving them more time. You didn't rush them or anything like that. Like you was just kind of lighthearted about the whole situation. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, seduction. This is somebody who... This person is very charming. This person was dealing with a lot of hookups, a lot of third parties, a lot of temptation. All right, this person could be very attractive. I'm not going to lie, collective. You view this person as a tease or something like that. But this person had a lot of options. With keys on the rain energy, they had a lot of options, collective. This is somebody who used their sexual energy at one point to get what they want. To get what they want out of connections. Even money. This is somebody who was using their charm and their good looks to get money from people for real. Out of situations, friendships, partnerships, you know. Wow, girl with the snake and the snake is right here next to each other. This is crazy. Two snakes. So your person, whoever this is in your energy could have been a snake. And they met a girl with the snake. Like, they met a charmer. So, if your person was a charmer and they was manipulating people to get what they want, they met somebody who was in the same energy, for real. They met somebody who was who had I heard on the same type of time, doing the same thing. This is somebody who they had you in competition with. They really did choose this girl with the snake over you. They, they did. They did, collective. This is who they were getting to know. They were getting to know this person. Then eventually they began to try to move on with this person here. Unbeknownst to them, this person is a snake. But they kept watching y'all the whole time. This person kept watching you guys, stalking you. Like, why though? For some of y'all, this could have been twin flames. This could have been your counterpart here. Who? So even though they met up with a snake, I'm not even sure if they knew that this person was a snake or not. They moved on with a snake energy here. One of their options. Somebody who they actually had as an option on the side. They continue to stalk you guys. They continue to stalk you. They continue to keep tabs on you. To watch you. This is also an energy of you guys seeing the situation clearly. Maybe it was a lot of things that was hidden from you. So you contemplated on like letting this person go. Letting the situation go for a long time. For some of y'all, it took out a long time to let this person go. You know, you feel like the connection was so strong because, you know, this could have been a twin flame. Okay, so this is given like a um, this unbreakable bond, this spiritual connection, like no matter what type of vibe, right? But but if this is your twin, your twin was a, was a douchebag. I'm not going to lie. This person was a real douchebag. And they met a real douchebag. They met a lady douchebag. If this was a male douchebag, they met a like they met a female douchebag. So y'all eventually set set boundaries with this person with not today energy here. You've been avoiding conversation. Um, you're not really wanting to deal with them. Some of y'all, you very much still upset with this person. And if not, they feel like you're still upset with them because you're not wanting to deal with them. But that truth is, you guys have ascended and that this ship has sailed. Some of y'all feel like the ship has just sailed and that's just what it is. You've, you've ascended past the connections, uh, past the relationship. Okay, this is why you're like not wanting, to, you don't have time to hear what this person got to say because you feel as though all they have given you is lies. That's all they've given you. So a lot of you guys have made so much progression on your journey since you've learned your lesson and you released this person here. 
Mm. Look like this karmic partner of theirs broke their heart. And that's the way the cookie crumbled with the with the with the cookie crumbled heart here. The heart-shaped cookie that's crumbled. This person got their little old bitty heart broke by this karmic. And I heard that's the way the cookie crumbles. This person is in turmoil over here in this situation. Yeah. Wanting to let this karmic situation go. Wedding is in reverse. They don't want to commit to this person no more. Maybe they thought about marriage. Maybe there was talk of marriage. Okay, there will be no marriage over here. This karmic, this karmic relationship is over and this person is very triggered. But there's still like a strong energy of um, addiction. But I think it's coming from this karmic. I think this karmic is very much addicted, codependent upon your person. Very much obsessed with them, trying to keep them restrained. And your person, your ex, because I know, I don't think y'all together with this person. They're, they're trying to block their emotions out. Like they're not being emotionally available to this karmic the way that they used to. And I just heard that this karmic think that y'all got something to do with this. Somebody think that you got something to do with why this person is not emotionally available. See, they never saw this change coming in your person. They're in shock. This, this, is a, this is like a shock factor for them. They're surprised. Yeah, because this person is too busy reminiscing about you guys. Looking at y'all pictures and stuff. Crying in the dark. Wishing that they had made better memories with you guys for real. This person has been in the energy of reflecting. This, this is actually... Thank you, Spirit. This is actually helping this person <coughs> excuse me, to heal their inner wounds. Yeah. Yeah. This is helping this person to heal. Be a better person, for real. Go within. This person needed to go within collective. Hmm. So if you pulled your energy back from this person, that actually did help them. This person needed to lose access to you. Okay, I heard access, access denied. This person is still upset. If you block them, they still mad. They still upset about it. That's why they think you mad, because they mad. All right? But see, this person was avoiding having some type of truthful conversation with you. So when y'all did talk, maybe you gave this person an opportunity to come clean, to tell you the truth, to have a real grown person conversation with you, with you and they avoided it because this person didn't want to look bad. They didn't want you to know that they ran off with a snake and they got their heart broke. They didn't want to really tell you what happened collective. So you guys was forced to cut ties with this person. You received everything you needed. You already received what you needed from the situation. Truth, clarity. Okay, you, you you paid your karmic debt. You learned a karmic lesson with this twin. You learned what you needed to learn, collective. I heard this ship has sailed. Now you guys are progressing. You guys are headed towards some type of new beginning, a new phase in your life. You transcended past this person. You, you, you vibrated out of this connection with this person here. And this person has been over here stuck on stupid. Okay, feeling like they're stuck. Feeling like they're stuck and tied to this karmic relationship. Hmm. Tell me more. What does what do this person want to say to the collective? Thank you. Wow. Judgment. I'm making a decision once and for all to turn this around. So this person has made up their mind that not only do they want to turn this around with you. But they have to turn the situation around with you. Even if they haven't took any steps in the physical, this person has decided this energetically. Yeah. So, um, how does this, well, how does this karmic feel about this? Do this karmic know that this person has decided to come and be with the collective? Damn. Recovery. New beginning getting better this third party feels like you are like the better choice you're the better choice and that if this person get with you they'll be able to recover something regenerate the energy like whatever this third party stole from them this karmic feel like that if this person gets back with you guys that they will be able to regenerate what they lost they'll be able to have a new beginning here look at the devil energy here and this karmic is like no i'm going to keep this person stuck I'm going to keep this person stuck with me. I'm going to keep them stuck and bound with me. 
I'm not going to let them go nowhere. Look at this suffocating energy. I'm going to keep nagging them. I'm going to keep suffocating them. This third part is extremely jealous. They're, they, they are offering nothing but instability. Mentally, physically, spiritually, instability. They're very unstable. And I'm not even just talking about financially collective. All right? This relationship was not built on a stable foundation with this third party. This was something that they ran into. They quickly, yeah, this person was reckless. They recklessly ran into this, ran towards this situation here. They went towards this karmic out of passion, out of lust. They made an impulsive move to go be with this third party and it blew up in their face. Yeah. Maybe they thought they was going to be able to like heal and move on from y'all and... I don't know what this person thought, but it didn't. Yeah, they was a fool. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. This person made a foolish, reckless choice. I heard a mistake. This person said I made a foolish mistake. They made a foolish mistake collective. And now they're, they, they're, they're stuck with somebody or they're struggling to get away from somebody who they're having relationship problems with. Disharmony, arguments, disconnection. Okay, these people, it's like maybe your person is starting to grow in the sin here. And now their values are don't line up with this third party. Like the more your person is healing collective, the more they are vibrating out of this connection with this third party. That's why they're breaking up. They don't align with each other no more. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that something? All right. All right, tell me more. Wow, and they having money issues. So, you know what? That makes sense because the Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse. So they struggling over there. I mean, it's too much bad energy. Like this person can't manifest and you don't put your energy back collective. So, I mean, the whole time, like if they was really manifesting off your energy, they can't do that no more. They can't do that no more collective. All right. So they, they are having money issues. So this is physical and um, financial instability here. And that's why this third party feel like, see, mocho chose for the ho-hos. That if this person reconnect with you, they're going to be able to get up on their feet. This person feel like, wow, if your person reconnect with you, this person's going to be successful again. They're going to like leave this karmic in a, in a broke ass place. So the money must have ran out over here with them for real. Now they're trying to come back over here with you too. It's kind of giving like this third party feel like that this person want to be with you for the wrong reasons. Hmm. Release. It says, God help me forgive and let go. Burn letter. So you guys have released the situation here. And ever since then, this person has been trying to energetically commute, communicate with you. But it's a struggle for them because you've already released them. Some of you guys have kind of like energetically cut the cords or you, the cords are starting to like wear themselves thin. You have spiritual growth over here. So this person is trying to grow spiritually now and they feel guilty. So the more, the more this person grows spiritually, the more they, they raise their vibration, the more they raise their, their frequency collective, the more guilty this person feel, the more like, the more clarity this person has. The more they no longer connect with this third party here, the more they no longer want to be over here with this person. But this person has to grow up spiritually in order to not be attracted to, to this type of energy. Hmm. Thank you. I'm pretending to be happy with the karmic. I hate it here. What I say? This person hated over there with this third party. This person is trying their best to break away from this situation here, but something has this person stuck. Something has them bound to the situation here. Something got this person stuck, collective. Something has them restrained. I wonder what though. Could be magic. It's normally magic for real. <laughs> what has this person stuck, Holy Spirit? Oh, they showing me another deck they want me to use. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
Okay. What has this person stuck to this third party? One more time. Upright only. Thank you. Karmic relationship. Resentments, triggers, perception, intensity, letting go, turmoil, fleeting. I kind of I'm kind of feeling that something about this person's self-love and making better choices. What has this person stuck to this karmic relationship? It's crazy. Because we're talking about the karmic relationship. I'm actually clarifying this energy here. And it came out again. What has this person stuck to this karmic relationship here? It's self-love. It's self-love collective. That's exactly what it is. It's self-love. Yeah. It's self-love. And this person is not sure if you're going to take them back. They're not sure because, see, y'all love y'all self now. You love yourself. This person is not. They're unsure if you're going to take them back. Yeah, you guys are whole. They feel like you're whole without them for real. And they know that they were selfish with you. When you needed them to give to you, they didn't give. They gave to somebody else and that ended the situation. They ended y'all relationship. See, look, self-worth. You guys know your self-worth now. This person, though, they can't pull the wool over your eyes. They can't trick you. Tricks is, tricks is for kids. Tricks are for kids collective. Do they miss you? Absolutely. Absolutely, this person miss you more than anything. They really want, they're really ready to make more memories. But the ship has sailed. It keeps coming out. The ship has sailed. You have moved on. Uh, you've moved on, collective. Yeah, Phoenix, you guys have had a rebirth. That's, that's, that's the thing. And this person wants to rekindle this with you. It's like this person has had like a change of mind. They, their mindset or something has changed collective. Okay, They're, they feel like they view something different. They look at something different now or whatever. This person has had a change of heart, a change. They changed their mind. <laughs> Give me one more. Look at this. Rushing in. This is somebody who finna, they finna prepare to rush in. Just know that. This is somebody who say they can't wait no longer. Or whatever. This person's about to make the make a move. They can't just sit around and wait for y'all to make a move and let them back in. They finna take some type of risk. Okay, it says, I can't wait any longer. I'm making a move. Yeah, this person finna make a move. I don't know how y'all feel about that for real. But I just want you to know that that's what they that's what they gonna do. All right, all right, you guys. I'm going to extend this video um, over on the extended collective. I'm going to see what is this person's true intentions when they get there. I'm going to provide more clarity and insight on this overall situation here. Um, I'm going to see what else is blocking this connection. What 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 are the next steps that spirit wants y'all to take on this journey for real? Um, how do this person view you and how do this person view y'all future together? Um, any other hidden emotions that this person may have? What else they want to say that they've been hiding for you from you guys? All right. I'm going to get some messages from your spirit guides for you guys. Um, and what karmic lessons, what spiritual lessons were you guys meant to learn? All right. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section down below how it resonated. Peace.